Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is definitely a very singular aircraft. It was conceived as a multi-mission military transport aircraft with an exceptional capability, the unique tilt rotor. This innovative feature allowed the combination of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter with the ability to fly high and fast as a fixed wing turboprop aircraft. The V-22 originates in the JVX program proposed by the United States Department of Defense in 1981. The acronym JVX stood for Joint Service Vertical Takeoff and Landing Experimental Program. Two major aerospace companies with vast helicopter experience, Boeing and Bell, joined efforts to design, develop, and build this fantastic aircraft. Bell Helicopter was responsible for designing, manufacturing, and integrating the V-22 wing, nacellus, rotors, drive system, tail surfaces, and aft ramp. Bell was also responsible for integrating the powerful Rolls-Royce engines and the final assembly of the aircraft. In turn, Boeing Helicopters was responsible for designing, manufacturing, and integrating the fuselage, cockpit, avionics, and flight controls. The development of the V-22 started in 1983 and it took several years due to the technical challenges of being the first military tilt rotor. In 2007, the V-22 entered service with the United States Marine Corps under the denomination MV-22B followed by the U.S. Air Force version CV-22B in 2009, and finally, the U.S. Navy version CMV-22B in 2021. The V-22 has accumulated more than 600,000 hours of operations in combat scenarios of harsh and dangerous environments and has proven to be an essential asset for the military forces. Japan is currently the only foreign operator of the V-22. Back in 2012, the government of Japan requested initial information to evaluate the possibility of operating a fleet of V-22 Osprey aircraft by the JGSDF, Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces.
After a period of negotiation, in 2015, the U.S. government approved the operation and deliveries of brand new MV-22Bs to Japan started in 2020. Japanese and American armed forces frequently perform joint military training and exercises under the umbrella of existing cooperation agreements. An example of this is Forest Light, a semi-annual exercise where the U.S. Marine Corps team together with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces, strengthen cooperation and bilateral operation, focusing on offensive and defensive air mobile field training. Despite its fantastic complexity, it takes the V-22 only a few minutes to transform itself from storage to operational configuration. Another mission the V-22 is qualified to perform is the cargo resupply mission. The V-22s are capable of transporting 24 fully equipped troops to a combat mission. For this purpose, the cabin is equipped with 24 crash-worthy troop seats, usually folded onto both sides of the cabin. The troops get on board and descend by using the rear ramp for easier and faster operations. Tilt rotor technology was a revolutionary concept when it was first introduced decades ago, setting the basis for the development of the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, and later on, other companies around the world developed their designs based on this technology. Additionally, the operational introduction of the V-22 demonstrated the effectiveness of this type of aircraft in actual combat operations, and therefore more operational employment was envisioned. However, in 2013, the U.S. Army presented an operational request for an aircraft capable of accomplishing a long-range assault, transporting 12 fully-geared warfighters directly to the insertion point within a combat range of 400 miles. This program was named FLORA, an acronym for Future Long Range Assault Aircraft, and the tilt rotor technology was one of the proposals developed by the industry. However, this technology was still mechanically complex and demanded significant efforts for the maintenance of the aircraft, and therefore, a technological innovation was needed. The Flora program was finally awarded to the Bell V-280 Valor, an aircraft that resembles the V-22 Osprey, but that introduces a significant mechanical advantage. In the V-280 Valor, only the gearbox and propellers rotate to change from vertical flight to horizontal flight, 
while the nacelle with the engines remains horizontally attached to the wing. The V280 is a technical evolution with respect to the V22, although they were designed for different missions. The V-280 is purposed to perform agile long-range assaults, transporting 12 troops. While the V-22 mission includes external cargo and doubles the quantity of personnel and maximum payload capability. Japan is gradually increasing its investment in defense materials in accordance with the potential threats and geopolitical situation of the country. Therefore, all branches of the Japanese self-defense forces have planned the replacement of aging assets as well as the introduction of new technology to perform their assigned missions. A good example of this investment is the Kawasaki P-1 Maritime Patrol Aircraft. The P-1 is the result of a recent Japanese development program that was initiated in 2001, aiming to replace the fleet of P-3C Orion aircraft. After a period of evaluation of the aircraft models available at that time in the market, the government of Japan decided to invest in the ingenious design and production of a brand new aircraft, developed and built to accomplish the maritime patrol mission and fulfill all the operational requirements. This decision represented a historical milestone, fostering the Japanese aerospace industry 30 years after the latest aeronautical design project was made in Japan. After some years of accelerated design, testing, and evaluation, the P-1 was introduced into service at the JMS-DF, acronym of Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces, in 2013. Since then, more than 30 aircraft have been delivered. The P-1 is a low-wing aircraft impulsed by four turbofan engines, which achieves an operational range of 4,300 nautical miles, reaching 44,360 feet of service ceiling and 538 knots of maximum speed. The patrolling mission of the P-1 demands the use of a significant diversity of sensors and electronic equipment on board. The P-1 is therefore equipped with many other devices designed to detect, identify, and track suspicious ships above and underwater. Moreover, the P-1 mission is not limited to observation and identification. The P-1 is equipped with eight hardpoints under the wings, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.